In this video, we'll learn how we can insert multiple elbow connectors in PowerPoint. Now, if you have tried to create a flowchart in your PowerPoint, you might have faced this issue where you are trying to connect multiple text boxes or shapes with a connecting line back and forth or up and down. It doesn't play nice. And probably you're watching this video because of this issue that you are having. So we'll learn how we can easily create these connecting lines, adding multiple segments or elbows in these lines. We'll also spend a little bit of time on how you can use a smart art to convert a simple text into a, a nice looking flowchart in just a matter of a minute, right? So let's get started. So first, let's say I already have my process ready and I'm just trying to connect these two uh, shapes. And so the way in which you do it is you go and click on this connector elbows. And then the key is to select or, or hover over mouse at the midpoint. So let's try this. And then if, if I try to connect this, see the elbow doesn't play nice. So you go a little bit outside come to this corner and then it's automatically shows the attachment. And so now that you have connected these two, uh, you know, shapes, basically this is a for loop. So what we are trying to show is that there is a for loop and once it gets out of this for loop, it'll go to the next segment. But now that you have connected this, now you can like pick this orange, uh, yellow box or, or a dot and then move this shape back and forth and it'll keep the connection, right? So that's how we can connect these. Now, what if I'm done with the for loop, so I want to connect these to this segment. So again, let's go back and click on our connectors here. And then in fact, let's draw a line with an arrow there. So I'll go here. And then again, it's kind of tricky, I don't want to connected here, right? I just want to connect at this point. But see, when I try to connect this, it's actually hidden behind, which is okay, actually, because you won't be able to do uh, uh, avoid that. So let's just go ahead and connect this. But now that we have this connector, I can move back and forth. And then I'll just go a little bit here, right? So now you can see I have and then I I actually had a text here and then I'm going to bring this up front. Okay. So now you can see we have nicely connected these four loop flow chart to show the basically path of our, our flow chart or our program or process. Okay. Let's go to the next one, the smart art away. Okay. So here I have again a sort of a flow chart in more of a text form. And so you don't need to manually create these uh, flowchart. Uh, PowerPoint already allows you to convert the text into a different kind of uh, smart art, you know, processes. And so all you have to do is select the text, right click on it. And then right here, it says convert smart art. So I'm going to click on convert and I'm going to pick this one. Right, because this looks like a more of a just a flow chart. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. Okay. Now by default it just selects one color, but if you go to change color, now you have all different scheme or, or themes. And so based upon the uh, you know whatever colors you want to, to use, you can pick one of these. So I'm going to pick this. Okay. Alright, so now let's say I want to connect these false to going back to the declare variable x and y. So if I go here, and if I try to connect these, see, it doesn't give me an option. It, it might pick, but see, it's just not working. And so what's going on here? And so the reason is because this is a smart art object, the whole thing is an object. And so it is not able to pick individual boxes uh, and then corners or midpoints. And so the key here is to convert this smart art into individual shapes, okay? So in order to do that, you just right click, just just click on, on one of these lines, because if you try to click here, uh, it may not pick the whole object. So let's pick this, right click, and then here there's option called convert to 
shapes okay and if you observe this this triangle it will become much shorter so convert to shape so what it did is is just converted this entire smart art into individual object now there is still one caveat actually and the reason is that it is still grouped together so if i select one i can pick one but it is still grouped in individually right and so let's click again and let's right click and then let's ungroup them okay and so now each of these shapes are individual objects or shapes and so now let's try to connect so i'm trying to connect this and he, right here at the midpoint now what's going on is it's still not able to pick i can pick the oops i can still pick the well, let's take this arrow so i pick this uh, and then i'm trying to pick this mid point right because that looks more professional so it's still not working so what's going on now maybe you guys know what's going on uh, if you do this just add a comment but what i tried a lot of trial and error and finally i realized this that these shapes this rectangle shape is still something different and so what i have to do in order to get the midpoints is you select the the two shapes that you are trying to connect and then go to shape format go to added shape chain shape and then pick one of these so let's because this is just a rectangle let's pick this one okay now i'll try to connect these connectors so so see what difference would it make so now i'm trying to select and all of a sudden it shows me option to pick the midpoint so if i pick this and if i go here again see it just it is able to pick the the end points but also the midpoints so now that i have that now i can basically select uh, these two at the midpoint and connect so let's say i want to show it again if i try to draw let's say this x and y goes here just for the lack of uh, uh, you know better way to show if i try to connect it it won't work so let's as i said pick the sh two shapes that you want to connect go to shape format add its shapes and then convert to this one okay and now if i try to connect these i can get the midpoint oops i didn't pick it properly so pick that and then go here and again let's just connect first and then we can move this right and so now if i move these shapes it will still connect it will still be connected to those shapes and so this is how you can insert multiple alpo connectors uh, when you're trying to create a flow chart i hope you like this video if you did uh, please click on the like button and if you have another question or if if there is something that you would like me to make a video uh, regarding powerpoint please comment in the comment section and i'll try to create a, a, a tutorial for that all right thank you bye